Okay, the next thing we're going to go over is modules. And modules are different types of uh, little plugins to your website. Um, these all over here are modules. Uh, and these modules or components can be added or taken away to your site. You can rearrange where they want to go. And all of your modules are listed in site modules. So you can see all these different modules under that are listed. Uh, now, for example, let's say on the polls that you wanted the polls to be on every single page of your website. If you did, you would simply press down the shift key and click on the very bottom main menu on your site and save it. This would throw the module polls and make it show up on every single site. But right now, we just want it to be on the home page. Now, to create a new poll, what I'll do is I'll go to components and simply click on polls. You can see I've already made one here. If I want to make a new one, I would simply click on new. I would ask the question that I want to ask. And for our options, I would select, would type in yes or no. And you can have several different options, up to 12. So when I save this, it will create my new poll. And I've got two here, so I'm going to unplug publish this one. And now when I view the site, you'll be able to see our new poll. Now, let's say I don't want polls to be on the home page. I don't want it to show up at all. It's very simple. I will go to modules and site modules and I will simply unpublish it by clicking here under the published And now you can see that our component polls is no longer there. Same thing with who's online. If I don't want who's online to show up, I will simply unpublish it. So it's very easy to unpublish uh, or publish different uh, different types of modules um, and pretty much that is how we use uh, the modules. Now you can also reorder these just by selecting one, two, three, and hitting save. Now you'll see they're completely they're reordered. So that is modules. Um, components are very similar to a uh, module and as you can see we have got web links as a main menu so when we click on links of course there's nothing there so let's go to our component web links and let's add a category for web links 
because you first need a category to put an item under. So the first thing I'm going to do is click New. And I'm going to create a category for our web links. And for this category, I am going to name this Partners. And I will type a few things. So I'll just put a little explanation there for our partners and I'm going to save this. Now I can create a web link for one of these partners. These are web link items. And I'll create a new link. I'll select the category. Just press. And I'll put a description. Now, our target, you'd never want uh, someone to take the place of your website when they're visiting. Otherwise, they have to go back. So I'm going to open this up with out browser navigation in a new window. And I'll show you what this does. So now when I visit the site, and click on links, you'll see our partners is now there. When I click on it, you'll see what I've typed. And you'll see it also opens up in a new window without browser navigation. So that is how a few of the modules and components work. Uh, some other things you can do is the different departments in your business. And that would be under contact components. And it would be under the content category section. So here you can make different departments as a category and then your different contacts would be the people under those contacts. Good example of this is for our company. I'll show you what we have done with our contacts. Contact us. And we have our different departments and our different contacts. Then when you create these, they go, the email is sent directly to that content, that contact. So that is how the, uh, that's how a few of those work.